Welcome Capricorn. This is your read. So I'm going to try something a little bit different today. I have these tea leaf cards and I'm going to pull a few of these out of the jar and I keep them in the, um, in the big bowl because they're a little bit unwieldy to shuffle. So let's see if we're going to, if we're going to be talking about love, money, or what's going on in your life today. Okay, so we have a ring. A marriage will take place uh, either romantic or business. Ooh, so there's a big bonding going on in your life. A uh, woman dealings or relationship with a woman might be involved in this marriage, maybe in this business deal as well. I have bird flying, which speaks of news on the way. So this is coming your way. I have carrot opportunity or windfall. Ooh, so something good is definitely coming. I have a forest card, which represents a uh, muddled or unclear thinking. It might speak to, uh, if it's a business venture, maybe sort of sorting out your feelings on this, uh, getting all, all your ducks in a row. I have broom, new home, new attitude, uh, sometimes speaks of the need for, for sort of cleaning house, uh, reorganizing sort of your your home, but still your heart and your mind too, and sort of just getting all the clutter gone. I have dark man, uh, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Uh, so this might be involved in the wedding, might be involved uh, in the business. These might be the people that are getting married. It might be family or friends for you. I have dolphin, financial gain, uh, usually coming from something you did in the past. Interesting, this might be this opportunity or windfall the cards are talking about. I have boot, uh, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Let's see what else we got, we have coins. Uh, money will be coming to you. Mm, so maybe we're gonna use uh, this money to forward our goals and move forward in life. Let's see. Uh, what tarot has for us so we have the sun card which is a good omen card it represents positive things manifesting for you and from what i can see in these other cards it looks like you got money coming your way i have the judgment card she's a lot like karma so she speaks of getting back what you put out into the universe so definitely she can be a warning to to be on your best behavior to work as hard as you can so that you can be equally rewarded I do have the tower card, which represents um, a sudden or unexpected ending. And I have the two of wands, which speaks of choosing a path. So I feel like there's choice coming your way as well. This might tie into this muddled and unclear thinking. I have the king of cups and I feel like the king of cups uh, in this read is symbolic. Uh, the cups represents emotion. So he is the king of emotion. I feel like it's a very emotional decision for you coming up here. I feel like it might tie into maybe this, this marriage that's coming or this business venture. And let's see, I have the five of pentacles, which can represent going through a rough time financially. The nine of pentacles, uh, which speaks to happiness and abundance. So I feel like this nine of pentacles is speaking to the money that's coming your way. I have the seven of swords, uh, which represents a situation which you felt uh, was unfair. You caught the short end of the stick. I feel like it's tied into this muddled and clear thinking. It's tied into this tower card, this choice that has to come. The hanging man represents the only thing that could possibly hold you back in life is you. I feel like it's also speaking to, it's speaking to this ring card, this joining that's happening and, and the decisions that go into it and, and going in with sort of your best foot, um, with the intention of working hard and with the confidence. I think this is where this broom card comes in as well and being able to sort of, like I said, remove the clutter in your life. So that doesn't necessarily speak to, speak to physical clutter, you know, things that we can touch. Sometimes it's uh, emotional clutter as well that needs to be gotten rid of. I have the four of swords here. The four of swords can represent taking time uh, for reflection, taking time for self-care. I think that's going to come in handy. And being able to fulfill this broom card and sort of get rid of the clutter, maybe taking stock of what's really important in life, uh, what you value, um, and being able to to help you find your path, this two of wands, choosing your path. The six of wands represents triumph over obstacles and the emperor speaks to success. He is the epitome of success. So everything that you believe represents success. That is what he speaks to and having him in your read represents that. That is something that you can have, especially next to the six of wands. I feel like you are gonna be able to triumph over whatever obstacles are coming your way. I feel like a lot of them are internal um, and trying to sort out your feelings as well. I have the Ten of Swords, which can represent a dis 
disappointing ending, but one that was beneficial for you in the long run. And the Four of Cups can speak to emotions, the need to, to let go of emotions that you've been holding on to, uh, that have been holding you back. So I feel like it definitely ties into this broom card. Uh, this disappointing ending, though, um, I feel like this is where the muddled and unclear thinking is. Whatever it is, is the catalyst for this change in your life. But I feel like there's great opportunity coming your way. I'm going to pull just a couple more cards here. We're just going to see uh, what else I got to say. Page of Wands represents good news on the way. And I have the Six of Pentacles, which represents an abundance. So I feel like it's speaking to this money. I think this money coming is going to give you the opportunity uh, for either furthering a committed relationship and bringing this marriage about, or it's going to bring you the opportunity for this business venture and something you've been looking to invest in or something you've been looking to start to do yourself. I mean, definitely, in either case, the only thing that can hold you back um, are your fears, your doubts and insecurities. So it is time to clean house and to get rid of them and find your confidence. Um, and that is going to help you to find your success along the way so that you can beat this emperor card. Alrighty guys, that's what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Uh, please feel free to comment because I do love hearing from you. And remember, if you want to participate in the free read giveaway at the end of each week, all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment in one of my videos saying that you are interested because we do start fresh every single week. Alrighty guys, take care.